welcome to the 2023 Imagine Cup World Championship. We're thrilled to have you join us for another year of the greatest student developer competition in the world. I'm Akoswa Bwadia Jamang, a senior marketing manager here at Microsoft. And I'm Darian Nguyen of Lab Shenanigans and a science communicator. I'm excited to be here in Seattle, <laughs> Washington, where some of the brightest young minds have gathered to showcase their skills and creativity. Mm -hmm. And in this new era of artificial intelligence, these competitors are showing us how they can use it to make a positive impact on society. To get to the World Championship stage, tens of thousands of students began innovating for impact, dreaming up new realities that could help make our communities and the world a better place. And now after multiple rounds and months of competition, it's down to the final three teams, each competing for the coveted title of Imagine Cup World Champion. Right, and now, today, they're getting ready to take the stage for their chance at the grand prize, $100,000, and a mentorship <laughs> session with Microsoft Chairman and CEO Satya Nadella. Each team will have three minutes to pitch their solution to our panel of expert judges. The judges will then have the opportunity to ask the teams some questions before casting their vote to determine the 2023 Imagine Cup World Champion. Now let's meet our panel of expert judges who have the difficult decision of selecting the winning team. Yes, our first judge is Melanie Nakagawa, Microsoft's Chief Sustainability Officer. Our next judge is none other than Wayne Sutton, serial entrepreneur and community lead at Observable. And our third and final judge is Talib Visram, a staff writer at Fast Company in New York. Good luck, judges. And with that, it's time for the team's presentations. First up, <laughs> from Kenya, we have Tawi. Our solution helps to assist children with auditory processing disorder by giving them a tool that helps them listen and learn more effectively. My inspiration for this project comes from my sibling, Lumu, who has auditory processing disorder. The children should not have to suffer just because their parents cannot access hearing aids. AI helps our project to be able to do the speech to text and audio enhancement, all this done in real time. Tawi is a Swahili name. In English, it means a sprouting leaf. And uh, children are the sprouting generation. And we wanted to do something for them so that they could be uplifted and reach their full potential. I feel incredibly grateful and honored to compete for the World Championship and at the same time enjoying the experience. All right, Tawi, and your time starts now. You know, your brain can process sound in less than five milliseconds. However, for individuals with auditory processing disorder, a condition that affects the brain's ability to process what we hear may not be efficient, leading to challenges in communication and learning. Over 300,000 babies are born with APD in a year, and over 100 million of school children lack access to hearing aids. Unfortunately, the high cost of hearing aids makes them unaffordable, hindering effective communication and causing academic struggles and social isolation. However, I introduced Tawi, software solution that is accessible, which is a smartphone and earphones. Our solution uses advanced speech recognition technology to improve speech comprehension. Now let's take a look at the demo. My name is Jacob Juma. Can you tell me what is your name? Tawi will provide improved audio quality and clarity while transcribing it to text, all in real time. In Kenya, there are more than 1.4 million children who struggle with APD. And we want to help by offering an affordable solution for just $5 per month. Join Tawi. Together, we can empower children who have APD to communicate better through AI. Thank you a wonderful presentation. Melanie, over to you for the first question. Excellent. I was wondering, what's your plan to translate this into other languages or bring other languages other than English into the app? Our application currently is uh, English based, but later on, since our, we're using OpenAI model, which has a multi-language language that, that are trained with it, we would apply to that so that it can be used worldwide with different types of languages. 
Up next, joining us from Thailand is CSM Tool. Hello, everyone. We are Team CSM2 from Thailand. Heart disease is already claiming millions of lives every year. Our project is a health innovation that allows anyone to detect heart disease faster. The CSM2 stands for Cardiac Self-Monitoring 2. Uh, different heart sounds will have the distinct, unique characteristic of each heart disease. So we use AI to classify the patterns of the sounds. We are just a um, high school kid and coming this far is already a huge accomplishment. But to win the World Championship, that is to be living Imagine Cup as a legend. All right, CSM Tool, your time starts now. When my mom nearly fell victim to heart disease, the number one killer, I was heartbroken. Early detection is key to make the difference between life and death. Introducing the CSM2, the first heart medical innovation in the world that allows accurate and fast early heart screening for all. That can detect six abnormality by recording the heart sound through the stethoscope and microphone into our AI to analyze the heart sound. By first, testing the stethoscope in the correct position, then wait for only 10 seconds and check the result on the application immediately and tell the overall result in the dashboard function. Our ultimate goal is to use AI to screen people effectively. With Azure, this goal can be accomplished. With scalable computing resource, feasibility, and security, we can successfully clinical trial this too with children and elderly patients. And compared to all the devices, the system 2 is all in one too. They can detect up to six heart sounds and normalities. It's easy to use, no expiry test, and it's only $20. With this too, we can help and save more than 5.6 million people. Let's unite our hearts for the world and trust in CSM. Thank you. Let's dive to some Q&As, shall we? Wayne? Uh, my question is, what is your plan to manage false positives with your customers? We are the screening device, and we are recommending them to check again at the hospital with the cardiologist. But from our results with clinical trial, now we have the standard of the medical device at 97.6% accuracy, follow the US FDA regulation, and conduct with the cardiologist. Let's learn a little bit more about our final team from the United States, Yupnia. I'm Lakshmi and I have had first-hand experience with tuberculosis a few years ago, so I know how painful the journey is. Yupnia is designed to save lives and eradicate TB. Yupnia has a very dynamic team. Myself and Lakshmi are pursuing Masters of Computer Science at UCI and Adya has just completed his Masters of Engineering Management from Duke University. We go way, way back. <laughs> All of us met during undergrad and then we've done a lot of team projects together. Our project uses AI in a multifaceted manner. We have a cough-based model which uh, can analyze whether you have a risk or TB just by listening to a couple of seconds of your cough sample. I am super excited to see how Yupnia is going to change the world, saving millions of lives and eradicating TB. Yupnia, your time starts now. In 2021, 10.6 million people fell ill due to tuberculosis. I am Lakshmi and I have suffered with TB for over six months. I know how painful the journey is. So we present Yupnia, the complete application that provides TB patients and healthcare providers with a low-cost solution to save lives and eradicate TB. Our platform offers AI diagnosis, gamified adherence, and a supportive community. On the patient's app, the AI-based cough analysis model can help you assess the risk of TB. Our system will give you a risk score with over 80% accuracy. Eupnea is free for all patients. To ensure sustainability, we plan to partner with governments, NGOs, and insurance companies through volume-based subscriptions. With Eupnea, we aim to change the world one breath at a time. Thank you. Talib, we'll start with you with the first question. Um, my question is, have you worked with any healthcare providers to get their impressions of the app and, and how have they responded so far? Yes. So we have worked with over 257 doctors across uh, 23 different hospitals and across four different countries. They feel that this is going to revolutionize TB management and reduce the burden of uh, tuberculosis, which is a public health risk for them. 
Thank you, Yupnia. Now we are just moments away from finding out who will be the next Imagine Cup World Champion. And to do that, we are excited to be taking the results of this competition and our finalists over to the live stage at Microsoft Build. Darian, it was such a pleasure having you join us. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Akosua. I'll be waiting eagerly to see, out, to see who comes out on top. Good job and good luck to the teams at Microsoft Build. Please welcome Akosua Bwadi Ajamang and Melanie Nakagawa. Wow, hello Microsoft Build. Imagine Cup 2023 has had a very exciting year. The passion, dedication, the enthusiasm of our student competitors has been on full display. And as a judge, I was impressed by the creativity, the pitches, they were impressive. And today, we're very excited to announce who will be crowned as our 2023 Imagine Cup World Champion. Ooh, the pressure is on. And I'm happy to say that we have all three world finalists joining us live today. From the Europe, Middle East, and Africa region, we have Tawi. And from the Asia region, we have CSM Tool. And from the Americas region, we have Yupnia. Wow, wow, wow. Okay now, y'all. The moment we've all been waiting for, it's time to announce who will be the next Imagine Cup world champion. Yeah. Melanie, as the judge, I think it's only fitting that you do the honors. Excellent, thank you. All right, is everybody ready? Here on, we go. Get it. And the winner of the 2023 Imagine Cup World Championship is... Team Tawi from Kenya! Yeah. All right, Team Tawi, how does it feel to be the new world champion? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are honored and excited to be the winning team. And this is a dream come true. We are really grateful. Thank you so much. That is brilliant. Congratulations again, Team Tawi. And all the teams that have competed at this year's Imagine Cup 2023, you've shown us that the future is in great hands. And we can't wait to find out what you'll accomplish next. So to you all, visit imaginecup.com and register for next year's competition, where we'll continue venturing into the extraordinary potential of AI. And to all the students out there, this could be you. Thank you all for watching, everyone. We'll catch you here next year. Microsoft Build is about to begin. Yeah.